Welcome to Rejoice Online, and thank you for joining us wherever you may be this day. We believe that all are welcome without exception at God's table. God loves you. Let us respond to God's grace and love in song. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Lord God, in a world that so often just wants to focus in on only the sunny days, only the th times when things seem like they're going absolutely perfect and wants to try to try to say that the, the, the darker days don't need to be there or the hard days don't need to be there. Help us to dwell in this moment in both the beauty and the ugliness of it. Help us to be present in this time and space where we find what your love is about. Help us. Help us not to turn away. So this year's palm branches will be next year's ashes. I'm one of these people who still tries to hold to some of the old traditions to where taking some of the the palm branches that we, we used to celebrate this year and right before Ash Wednesday, setting the, the dried palm branches alight to be the ash for the next year. And on the one hand, it's kind of a depressing thing. You know, that the that which has life and vibrance and color this year is ash next year. It's dead. It's gone. But that's life. It's the way of things. And and I think sometimes we we want to just stay in that moment where you're in the crowd and you're hallelujah. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. You know, I think we want to make life sometimes into a Hallmark movie where you know exactly how long it's going to last and you know how it's going to end that, um, you know, they're going to fall in love and they're going to live happily ever after. And and they're never going to have to go through too much struggle in the midst of that. Yeah, there's a little bit, but nothing too severe. Nothing that's going to make you really question, well, why am I watching this? Because this is uncomfortable at this moment. No, it's just... It's something that you can watch that distracts you from reality, but I think we need to be able to talk about reality. I have nothing against Hallmark movies. I think they're a lot of fun. But I think we also need to be able to talk about tragedy. Because the story that we tell about Jesus in many ways before Easter is a tragedy. But this is also where we come to know the love of God that nothing will separate us from. Not even, not even our rejection. God chooses to be a broken-hearted God because God refuses to give up on us. And I know a lot of people don't like tragedy. They don't like sad songs, you know. Don't sing a sad song. Sing, sing a joyous song. But to me, sometimes the sad songs are the most beautiful. Yeah, they, they tweak in my heart a little bit. But they also show me what can be. Again, uh, one of my favorite songs from my time in college was The Dance by Garth Brooks. You know? Again, it's looking back on the memory of what could have been and a relationship that's ended, but, but choosing, you know, even if you, not wanting to know how it ends because you want to be able to live there in that moment. Now, it's not all going to be the same people who this day shout, 
blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, and on Friday we'll be shouting crucify. Maybe some of them will be. But there will be plenty of those who are out there who are ready to shout crucify. But this is a story, a story that uh, the Gospel of John begins and tells you how it's going to end right at the very beginning. He comes to his own, and his own reject him. On Thursday night, we celebrate him being there among his own, among the twelve. One betrays, and all deny, and run away. He came to his own, and his own rejected him. And then he finds himself before the temple authorities, those who, who run the temple in Jerusalem, those who are supposed to be the servants of, of the God of Israel, those who are supposed to tell the people how it is that they are to, to live and worship, and he comes to his own, his own reject them. He comes before Pilate a representative of the Roman Empire, the great empire of that day. And although Satan may have tempted him, saying, you know, I'll give you all these nations, all the the kingdoms of the earth, I'll give them into your hand. Satan can only offer a fool's bargain. Because... Jesus already can hold all the nations in his hand, and he comes to his own, and his own reject him. Over and over and over again in the story, love is rejected. Forgiveness is turned away. It's met with hatred. It's met with judgment. It's met ultimately with death. He came to those who were his own. And his own rejected him. And it is a tragedy. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful in the way that Romeo and Juliet is beautiful. It's beautiful in the way that a sad song can be beautiful. It's beautiful in the way that Greek tragedy can be beautiful. It's beautiful because in the midst of the darkness, you see the light continue to shine. Darkness could not overcome it. In the midst of the rejection, you see the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord that refuses to say, enough. It refuses to give up on us. You see, I do believe God knows how it's going to end. And God chooses to enter the dance anyway. Chooses to sing the song anyway. Chooses to love us anyway. So we tell the story again, day by day, moment by moment, word by word, Yes, we know that it doesn't end in tragedy. We know that God's love ultimately wins. Even in the midst of all that we, as those who are his own, have done to push it away. You see, part of the tragedy is not knowing what's been offered to us. 
So we come again. Tell the story, hoping that it might catch this time. Hoping that this year's green branches might take root. But also knowing that we may find them as ash again next year and need to be reminded that we are dust and to dust we shall return. And knowing that all of it, every single piece of the story, <clears throat> every single piece of our story is wrapped up in the love of God and Christ Jesus our Lord that nothing can separate us from. Thanks be to God. Amen. As we have witnessed God's word and love this day, we are called to reflect both to the world around us. May you feel Christ's presence in the upcoming week and be surrounded by the comfort that comes with that. Now go in peace and in love.